Well, ladies and gentlemen, they did it. Best patch I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you might be thinking, what, ranked update? New new, new rank system, you know, new ranks. Uh, maybe there's a, a casual queue so we don't have to play experimental anymore. Uh, maybe a balance patch. That would be cool. Hold on, it's even better. More crossovers, okay? We have more. Um, it, so, already sick patch. Uh, by the way, because this isn't in I'm going to go over some of the just fantastic changes they've made. Because trust me, oh, they, they've made some amazing changes this patch but but first let me let me hop into brawl okay tell me if you notice anything different just real quick tell me tell me if you notice anything different about this y you should already do you hear that okay let me hold on let me just 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 absolutely destroy your ears for a second um just turn that volume way up okay just just listen with me oh okay ignore that Yeah? Wait, let's try this one. Okay, that's that's extremely loud. Um anyway, yeah, for some reason they changed the sounds to the console sounds. So now we're all living like PS4 players. That's that's the first of many amazing changes. Um and it's more than just, you know, unarmed recovery and ground pound, but I think those two are the main main ones you can you can actually tell the difference between, right? Uh so, so yeah, like I said. First, first of many great changes as patches. We're now on PS4 sounds um, instead of PC sounds, so so that's good. Uh, and then second, of course, yeah, all the crossovers, ba banger, banger, great patch. Thank you, Brahla. Thank you, BMG. Um, and then uh, a game mode that no one will ever play. Okay, now here we go. Uh, easy anti cheat. This one it might not be too bad. We're gonna have to figure it out, or, or it might not be too good. Sorry, I forgot all these all these changes are good. Um, but basically, last patch, if you don't remember, or whenever they introduced easy anti cheat. Uh, it, it it just it fucked the entire performance of your game. Your your game was horrific when you had easy anti cheat on. So you'd have to go to Steam and turn off easy anti cheat. Um, but it let you play ranked. It let you play in tournament, everything like that. So it was fine. Uh, so I guess there wasn't really a point in even adding easy anti cheat, right? But now, um, that it, it's forced. If like if you have no EAC on in your Steam launch options, which you lot have probably been told to do by many different people uh advising you on you know how to optimize your game then then you can't get in the ranked queue you can't play in a tournament lobby if you have um easy anti cheat disabled so now you have to have it on i don't know yet if it is you know destroying the performance of your game like it did before uh but we'll have to find out won't we uh as, as we play this new patch but um if it does you know uh, shit all over your performance then then brilliant brilliant change uh, you can still change map background so you can have like background mods on, but nothing else with e easy anti cheat. That that's actually the only thing it allows. So yeah, that's that. Uh, next is uh, test features. Okay, brilliant test features. Trust me. So actually, let me come back to this because there's something like a hundred times worse. I I just want to go over real quick and something that it, it's actually like insulting if you really deep it. So let let me find it. It's down. Here, here, somewhere, okay, here, right here. So you know how I talked about at the start, oh, brilliant update, right? Maybe they improved the rank system. Okay, so user experience, let's read this. Reduced the maximum queue time for ranked matches when a low number of players are online in your region. Reduced the average queue time for very high or low ranked players. Okay, so what this means is obviously, currently, if you're like 26, 2700, whatever, you're gonna be waiting like 20 minutes for a queue. Uh, for a game sometimes depending on what time you're you know actually playing of course um but but yeah so basically now th there's like a maximum queue time so i don't know where it is but it it's gonna be let's let's just say five minutes right so if you've been in the queue for five minutes it's just gonna put you in a game and it, it, the, the elo is not gonna matter so instead of actually you know fixing like the ranked queue as a whole um it, and you know making it alive by actually improving it and adding new ranks uh and just shit like that and you know adding like placement matches for new players whatever just improving ranked uh, and making the queue alive with improvements and, and doing good things and said they like artificially have made it more alive by making 2600s just queue 1900s now so you know instead of you know just just encouraging people to actually become 2600 and actually encouraging people to play ranked by improving the rank system right uh they just said okay well 
we could do that, but instead we're just going to, you know, match you against 1900s. So you can gain one elo if you win, which is great. I think that that's, that's, that's a banger that, that right there. That's probably the best change I've ever seen in my life. So now if you're like, yeah, if you're quite high elo, 25, 26, 2700, um, and you've been waiting a little bit too long for a queue, uh, you're just going to queue 1900. If you win, like I said, one elo, brilliant. That's just made your day. If you lose, then you've just lost 30 elo. I'm sure you'll get over it. Uh, so yeah, no good changes to rank. Just, just, just this, whatever that is. Um, other things, there's not really much other things really. Just some whatever. Uh, and then, oh yeah, they made some Arcadia changes. Neutral sig on spear, increased recover time on miss. Six frames. That's actually quite a lot. Decreased the force by two. Okay, and then decreased force on side spear. So they didn't even fix like a lot of the broken shit on Arcadia. So that's, that's good. Um, but anyway, new test features, <laughs> uh, and you know you, you know what the test features are as well, uh, is is to do with the dodges. <laughs> uh, okay, actually, let's go over this one first. So now, right, by default, when you launch Prohala for the first time ever, and you're a silver player, um, if you run out of jumps, and you try and jump, like all of this, this is what this is, let me sum it up for you so you don't have to read, because I know Prohala players are, you know. Um, but if you try and jump, and you have no jumps left, but you have a recovery. So let's say you just jumped off the, the, the map. You've used both your, your jumps. You still have a recovery, but you've used all your jumps, right? If you try and jump again, it will automatically use your recovery as a jump, if that makes sense. Uh, you can turn this off in the settings, which is which is great. When I read this, I was really scared because it doesn't say you can turn it off in the settings until literally like here, the, the last line. So I was like, oh, wait, so what? They've made the worst change of all time? But no, no, no. You, you can turn off in the settings. So that's not too bad. So immediately, if I was you, I would go and turn that off. Uh, you know what? Let me actually, let me just real quick. Is that is that here somewhere? Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Never in your life have that on. Okay, never. Because, uh, yeah, okay. Well, anyway. So so next is, uh yeah, dodge cooldowns. So you know how you know that they've done the whole dodge changes and experimental. I've already gone over like three, four, five times how shit they are. I think everyone has, like no one actually likes them. Uh, but they're still stuck on it. Uh, it. It's been, you know, even after they decided to not pass it through to the main game, it's still stuck around in experimental for like another four or five months. So I think everyone realized like, okay, well, I did anyway. I realized that, okay, they're going to be stuck on this. They really want to pass through this, this horrific change. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't wrong. Um, so now they've updated it to try and, I guess, make it a bit better. They've actually made it worse. Uh, some things are good. But basically, you know how the whole system is designed around you, trying to get people to be less passive uh, and shit like that. So so now uh, what they've done to, to, to make people less passive is um, they, they've brought down the air dodge cooldown. So when you dodge in the air, right, I think the, it used to be like two and a half seconds. Okay, So when you dodge in the air, you don't get your dodge back for two and a half seconds. So if you're being a passive uh dickhead basically and you're you know just jumping around the map uh, and then using your dodge if someone actually catches that dodge they're going to get a decent punish on you right when they finally catch your dodge after you've been running for your life for five minutes they're going to get a good punish on you and get a lot of damage off maybe kill um but but then uh, in that last dodge cooldown thing uh they, they reduced that until for oh, sorry i can't speak at all they reduced that to 2.16 seconds from around two and a half seconds that it was before or it might have been three seconds. I don't know. It, it was, it, yeah. Um, it was like a lot more than this, though. So yeah, two point sixteen. So the punishes got worse, basically. Uh, but the thing is, is that, like, th this was even if you use your dodge on the ground, it was two point sixteen as well. So that, that that was also really shit. They fixed that though. Now when you use your dodge on the ground, it's just the same as it always has been. So so that's actually good. Uh, but anyway, in this update, they brought it down from two point sixteen to two seconds they reduced it even more so now you know when you catch that guy who's been running for five minutes for his life and you catch his dodge finally they've just made your punishes shorter and worse pretty much <laughs> so it's like it's genuinely doing nothing but rewarding the passive player even more so honestly what a banger, what a banger. I, honestly, I just have to applaud BMG for that one real quick because fucking all. Um, and yeah, the, the cooldown, it still does that thing where if you use your dodge in the air and then you touch the ground, your dodge doesn't come back. Which is, I guess, not 
too bad. I, I don't know. I still think this this entire dodge system is it needs to go because it will ruin the game. Um, for many reasons, I've made like multiple videos on why, and every I've not talked to a single pro player who disagrees with that. Um, and also something else that's actually kind of good is when you use a chase dodge instead of your dodge being gone forever, uh, it comes back after a second. Uh, instead of like, because usually it used to be that if you use your chase dodge in the air, uh, it would be, you know, your dodge would be down for the same value as like the, actually if you used your air dodge. But now, if you use a chase dodge in the air, it's only one second and you get your dodge back. So the same as if you use your dodge on the floor. Which, I don't know about this. To be honest, it, it, it seems all right. Um, I guess, yeah. But either way, the main thing uh, is that we got new crossovers, so let's go. I can't wait to spend all my money on on this guy. I don't know his name. And this guy, I don't know his name. And this is Ken, I think. Um, and, yep. Anyway, um, enjoy the patch. You, yeah, man. I hope you have fun with it. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I just have no words. To be honest, uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Oh, fucking hell. Go play multiverses, man.